God sees us with eyes of compassion. Our Daily Bread. Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Tim Gustafson. In his book, The God I Don't Understand, Christopher Wright observes that an unlikely person is one of the first to give God a name. It's Hagar. Hagar's story provides a disturbingly honest look at human history. It's been years since God told Abram and Sarai that they would have a son, and Sarai has only grown older and more impatient. In order to help God, she resorts to a custom of the day. She gives her slave Hagar to her husband, and Hagar becomes pregnant. Predictably, dissension arises. Sarai mistreats Hagar, who runs away. Alone in the desert, she meets the angel of the Lord, who makes a promise strikingly similar to the one God had made earlier, to Abram. I will increase your descendants so much that they will be too numerous to count. The angel names Hagar's son Ishmael, which means God hears. In response, this slave from a culture with multiple gods that could neither see nor hear gives God the name, You are the God who sees me. The God who sees us is the God of impatient heroes and powerless runaways. He is the God of the wealthy and well-connected, as well as the destitute and lonely. He hears and sees and cares, achingly, deeply, for each of us. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Genesis chapter 16, verses 1 through 13. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, had borne him no children, but she had an Egyptian slave named Hagar, so she said to Abram, The Lord has kept me from having children. Go, sleep with my slave. Perhaps I can build a family through her. Abram agreed to what Sarai said. So after Abram had been living in Canaan ten years, Sarai, his wife, took her Egyptian slave Hagar and gave her to her husband to be his wife. He slept with Hagar, and she conceived. When she knew she was pregnant, she began to despise her mistress. Then Sarai said to Abram, You are responsible for the wrong I am suffering. I put my slave in your arms, and now that she knows she is pregnant, she despises me. May the Lord judge between you and me. Your slave is in your hands, Abram said. Do with her whatever you think best. Then Sarai mistreated Hagar, so she fled from her. The angel of the Lord found Hagar near a spring in the desert. It was the spring that is beside the road to Shur. And he said, Hagar, slave of Sarai, where have you come from and where are you going? I'm running away from my mistress, Sarai, she answered. Then the angel of the Lord told her, Go back to your mistress and submit to her. The angel added, I will increase your descendants so much that they will be too numerous to count. The angel of the Lord also said to her, You are now pregnant, and you will give birth to a son. You shall name him Ishmael, for the Lord has heard of your misery. He will be a wild donkey of a man. His hand will be against everyone, and everyone's hand against him and he will live in hostility toward all his brothers. She gave this name to the Lord who spoke to her, You are the God who sees me, for she said, I have now seen the one who sees me. That's today's scripture reading from Genesis chapter 16, verses 1 through 13. Let's pray. Lord, you didn't sugarcoat the story of your people in the Bible, and yet you loved them, as you love us, in spite of all the dirt and drama. You are the God who sees us, and yet we can still run to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries. 